welcome back to mathematics class i hope everyone is doing very well so children in the last two classes we have discussed about two fundamental operations addition as well as subtraction so you have learned about properties of addition as well as properties of subtraction children let me show you something today so children do you know what are these these are glasses so see children i have arranged here some glasses okay now let us start counting the glasses children see here children here i have two glasses two again two again two again so i have arranged the given glasses what are the glasses with me i have arranged in this way two plus two how much children four again plus two it is six children six plus two is eight children so total i have eight glasses children let us count once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight i have eight glasses children i have arranged it in this way children see 2 2 2 2 so i arranged the glasses in 2 2 in the form of 2 means i am adding the two glasses two glasses two glasses repeatedly children here so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 how many times i repeated children four times i repeated so four times what number i repeated children two this is called repeated addition children means repeatedly i am adding the same number and see children repeated addition is nothing but called as multiplication children now see now four times i am counting one number what is that number four times i am counting only two so we can write like this four into two equal to eight children okay four twos eight now here four is called as multiplicand children and 2 is called as multiplier so whatever the answer we get means the result 8 is called as product so the result of multiplication is product children now today let us spend with this glasses only entire class today i will go with this glasses only let us enjoy the concept of multiplication today children just now we have discussed about multiplication children in that we have learned the terms of multiplication also now basing on your previous knowledge let us solve this recap problem so what's the question children 29 into 21 so we have to multiply these two two digit numbers for the children so first of all we have to arrange the given numbers in this order children so see children this is the multiplicand as we discussed so this is the multiplier children now multiplier have two digits children first let us multiply with the ones digits into the multiplicand children if we multiply the digit in the ones place with the multiplicand what answer we will get let us check children one nines nine children and one twos two so as this there are only two digits in the multiplicand we will get answer here only now see children two is in which place children tens place so the meaning is 29 into 20 children so we have to multiply 29 into 20 as we know already all the tens ends with what children zero so as this is a place of tens i am directly placing zero here now see children let us multiply with just digit 2 two nines what will be our answer children it's 18 so 18 children ending with this 8 i'll write here one regroup to the next place children so one regrouping to the next place now 2 into ones place completed now 2 into tens place 2 two twos 4 already regroup to 1 4 plus 1 it's 5 children so 4 plus 1 is 5 and what we have to do children we have to add both the numbers so we will get final answer children 9 plus 0 it is 9 2 plus 8 children 10 so 10 means what we discussed as 0 here and 1 re took the Hundreds place here. Now five plus one, six. Okay, children. So this will be our answer. When you multiply twenty nine into twenty one, we'll get answer as six hundred nine. So, so as we discuss the properties of addition and also subtraction here, multiplication also we have some properties, children. So let us discuss about properties of multiplication, children. See here, children. I have arranged some glasses in this way. See, children, here in the first one, one, two, and three glasses. Second group, one, two, and three glasses. 
So here we have arranged two groups with three glasses in each children. 3 plus 3, it gives us 6. Now in other way, what can we say children? Two groups of 3. Two groups of 3 means what children? Two groups of 3 equal to 6. Or else we can write in the form of 2 into 3 equal to 6 children. Okay children? See children, I can arrange this in another way also. So, see children here. Two glasses plus two glasses plus two glasses. That means what? Six glasses here. Two plus two plus two. Six glasses children. Now, I am counting two, two, two. How many times? One, two, three. Three times I am counting number two. So, three twos equal to six. See children, in the previous case, two threes, six. Now, in this case, three twos, six children. So, I got the same answer. So, this is called commutative property children. So, the product of the given numbers will remain same even if the order also changes children. So, even though we change the order, our answer is same. See children, just now I arranged the same six classes in different way. 2 into 3 and 3 into 2. 6, the same answer we got. So, this is nothing but commutative property children. Now, let us go for another activity children. So, children, there are some pens in my hand children. I will tell the count in the last but let us see this activity children. So, the glasses, see the glasses children here. I have arranged the glasses in the pairs of two children. See, so two, two and two. So, here I am inserting a pen in each glass children. See, here one pen, one pen here, one pen here, one pen here, one pen here, one pen here. So, see children here. This is a pair, means two. In two glasses, I am inserting one, one pen here. Here also in two glasses, I am inserting placing one one pen here here also in two glasses i'm placing one one pen children so this if you take this case how many pens we can find children so as you can see two glasses one pen each two glasses one pen is two ones two but see children we need overall pens two into one into three sets so two into one is a pair into three how many pens children two ones two and into 3. So 2, 3, 6. Overall I have 6 pens children. Remember this 6 pens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ok children. Now I will change the case. The same number of set of 6 glasses I arrange in this way. Two, 3 here, 3 here. So how I am arranging children here? 3 and 3. So we have 2 sets children. 2 sets. Now I am placing each 1 pen in each glass. 1, 1, 1. Again here also. 1, 1 and 1. See children, let us find out how many pins total we have. Now, how many sets we have children here? 2 into. Now see children, 1 pen each in a 3 set of glasses. So, how many 1, 3's? How much children? 1, 3's? 3. Okay. Now see, 2 into 3 each. 6. Total we got 6 pens children. See, if you observe here children, I changed here groups. Even though I changed the groups, I got the same answer. That means same number of pens. First I arranged in the form of set of 2-2 two, two glasses. Then I arranged 3-3 three, three glasses. I placed the pens. But finally I got same answer children. That is 6. So this is our second property children. That is associative property. So the product of 3 given numbers will remain same. Even the groups are changed. This is our associative property children. You can see one more example on the board here. See. Uh, in that way children. Again I have some pens in my hand. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many pens I have children? 4 pens I have. Now these 4 pens I want to place in the same glass again. Now 4 pens I placed in the one glass. Now see children. How many total pens I have? If you count to. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pens we have. Okay. Now this is our third property children. This is multiplicative identity. So the product of number, given number and 1 is the number itself. So what is our given number children? 4 is our given number. And see 
we are multiplying with 1 so the product of given number with 1 gives us an answer as member itself that is 4 itself children you can see one more example children on the board so ok children here 1 is the multiplicative identity so now let us go for another activity children so children I have 3 glasses here see children 1 2 3 3 glasses I am having here and each glass how many pens are there children do you find any pen here no pens so zero pen here zero pen here zero pen here so how many glasses are here children three glasses are there three glasses into zero pens in each glass so three into zero equal to zero so zero pens children this is your fourth property children zero property of multiplication the product of any number and zero is always zero children now you can see one more example on the board you know the concept of even numbers and odd numbers children Yes, we have learnt paired is called as even number children, unpaired is called as odd number children. Now, basing on this paired and unpaired means even number and odd number, let us do an activity children. And from that, let us learn one property also. Now, see children, how many glasses you can see? You can see two glasses. Two is which number children? Yeah, it is even number. Now, I will place some pens children here, see. Now see children, let us count number of pens here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And see 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pens is repeating. How many glasses are there? 2 glasses are there. So 2 is an even number children. In 2 glasses we have 4 pens each. So 2, 4, 8. So 4 is an even number. 2 is an number, even number children. 2, 4, 8. 8 is an even number. So this is our fifth property children. The product of even number and even number gives answer as even number only children. One more example you can see on the board children. Okay children, now let us go for another activity. Here I have how many glasses children? Three glasses. One, two, three. So three is in which number children? Three is an odd number. Now see, in each glass I placed some pens. How many pens children? one pen so one is a which one is a which number children one is also an odd number now let us multiply this children now see children set of three three times i'm counting one one pen children so three into one gives us answer as three so the result the product is three children so three is which number children three is also an odd number so this is our sixth property children the product of two odd numbers gives the result as odd number only children you can look out for one more example on the board children okay now let us go for another activity children look here how many glasses i have two glasses two is which number children two is an even number now in each glass i place the three three prints see three three so what will be our result let us count children so two threes six okay children here 2 is an even number, 3 pens is an odd number, so an even number into odd number, what answer we got children, 6 as even number children. So this is our property 7 children, the product of an even number and odd number gives always result as even number children. One more example is on the board children. So let us go for another activity children, again I came with glasses, how many glasses we have, 3 glasses. 1, 2, 3. In each glass, how many pens are there? 2, 2 and 2 children. So, how do we do multiplication children now? 3 and repeated addition children. 2, 2, 2. How many times I am repeating? 3 times. So, 3 into 2. What is our answer children? 3 to 6. Here, 3 is which number children? Odd number. 2 is which number children? Even number. So, what is the product children? 6. 6 is which number children? Even number. So this is our final property, property 8 children. The product of an odd number and an even number is always an even number children. You can look for another example on the board children. Okay children. So children, we have learned all the properties of multiplication with the small activity basing, using glasses and pens children. You can also find another way how to 
apply properties of multiplication using some objects in your home children now children let us go for another concept multiplication without regrouping children so let us multiply 132 into 22 to children see here children we have to arrange the given numbers in this format children so this is our multiplicand and 22 is our multiplier children so we have to follow some steps children here 132 is a multiplicand first we have to multiply into 2 means once place children 132 into 2 is our first step then 2 2s 4 we have to start from the once place only children 2 3s 6 2 1s 2 okay children now we have to multiply with the tens place children so we have two what is the place value of two here 20 so 132 into 220 children this is our second step so as we are dealing with 20 always it ends with zero let us place zero here now two twos four children two threes six two ones two so that's it we have to add both the numbers and you will get the final answer children so what is our answer let us count 4 plus 0 4 6 plus 4 10 so 0 here and 1 regroup now 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 1 9 children okay 9c no regroup in here now only 2 we have in the thousands place so 2 so we got answer as 2904 children here we did not see any regrouping so next let us see a problem with regrouping so children now a problem of multiplication with regrouping children multiply 596 into 63 so three digit number it multiplied with two digit number children first of all we have to arrange the given numbers in this format children now see children multiplicand 596 into 3 means once so multiply multiplicand into ones place is our step one children so we have to multiply 6 3s or 3 6 as we learned in commutative property it is 18 children now see here we got regrouping so what do you do 18 means you have to write only 8 children one you have to regroup to the next place so for easy identification one i am writing here children okay now 3 9s or 9 3s 27 27 plus 1 how much children it's 28 28 And see, we have to write eight here, and two we have to regroup to the next place, children. Now three fives, fifteen. Fifteen place already regrouped two. Seventeen children. Okay, so seventeen directly we can write because there are no more places here. Now five ninety six means five hundred ninety six into tens place six three. We have to do multiplication, children. As we are multiplying with the tens place, I am placing zero here. Okay, now six six, thirty six. Thirty six means six we have to place here, children. Three regroup to the next place. Six nines, fifty four children. Fifty four plus three, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven. Fifty seven children. So seven we have to write here. Five we have to regroup to the next place. Now six five, thirty. Thirty plus five, thirty five children. Okay, thirty. Five. Now let us add this two and get answer. Eight plus zero is eight children. Eight plus six, fourteen. Here also we can regroup one to the next place. Seven plus seven, fourteen, and plus one, fifteen. So five here. One regroup to the next place, children. Okay. Now five plus one, six. Six plus one. Seven, no regrouping, and last children, three is placed here in ten thousand place. So directly, this is our answer, thirty-seven thousand five hundred forty-eight. So this is the problem with the regrouping children. Whenever the problems comes with regrouping for easy identification, see this is the regroups of multiplying with ones place children. These are the regroups of multiplying with tens place children. You place in this way so that it will be very easy. Now let us do practice time sums. a basing on this concept children practice time 2.1 fourth week find the product 1089 into 16 children first of all we have to arrange the given multiplicand and multiplier in this way children now let us start doing our step 1 children what is our step 1 multiplicand into ones place 
that means six children so let us start six nines 54 children 54 means four here five we have to regroup as see here tens place is one we will not get any regrouping children so let us place regrouping here only children so five now six eight how much children 48 48 plus 5 53 3 here and 5 regrouping 6 zeros 0 plus 5 0 plus 5 is 5 children now 6 ones 6 so our step 1 completed children now we have to multiply with the tens place now this is 1 in the tens place so it will be 10 children and always multiples of 10 ends with 0 so I am placing 0 here now 1 nines, 9 children. 1 eights, 8. 1 zeros, 0. 1 ones, 1 children. You have to add this 2. Okay. This will be final answer children. 4 plus 0, 4. 3 plus 9, 12. 12 means 2 here and 1 regroup to the hundreds place. Now 5 plus 1 children, 6. 6 plus 8. 14 means 1 regroup to the next place. 6 plus 1, 7. And 7 plus 0 is 7. And there is no place here in the first step. So we are writing just one as it is. Now this is our answer children. 17,424 children. B question. 9040 into 103 means 9040 into 103. Here you if you observe children, the multiplier is having three digits that means ones tens hundreds so we will have one more step extra when comparing with the previous problem children now see children let us start doing with the ones place so 9040 into ones place first step one three zeros zero children three fours twelve it's a regrouping so twelve two here one regroup to the next place three zeros zero and zero plus one it's one children okay now three nines 27 children so 27 i'm placing here now as we are multiplying with which place children tens place as we know tens place we have zero and the place value as well as face value is zero only children so we have to place zero first here as we is in the tens place now see you know zero table zero zeros zero zero fours zero zero zeros zero Zero nines, zero children. Now, this is hundred children. We have one in the hundreds place, so one hundred. One hundred, we have to place two zeros children. So, placing two zeros here. Now, start multiplying. One zeros, zero. One fours, four. One zeros, zero. One nines, nine children. And add, if we add all this, we will get the final answer children. 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 2 plus 0 plus 0 means 2 children. Now 1 plus 0, again plus 0. Answer is 1. 7 plus 0 is 7 children. Now 7 plus 4, 11. 11 means 1 here, 1 regroup to the next place. Now 2 plus 1, 3. Now 3 plus 0, 3. And 3 plus 0, again 3 children. No regrouping here. And last we have only 9 placing here. So let us complete this by inserting commas. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s. So we got answer as 9,31,120 children. So first of all we have to arrange the given numbers in this way children. So if it is having 3 digits like this, 3 digit number. We will have three steps here. Final answer will be step four children. You have to place zero according to the places children. See this is in the tens place. First you have to keep zero. Hundreds place means two zeros you have to place first only children. Okay. Now this is the concept of multiplication children. So once again go through all the eight properties children. Practice well. Go through properties. What is our first property? Commutative property. Second property? Associative property. And third property, multiplicative identity. In this way, children, all the properties, once again, you practice. As I explained through an activity, you also do an activity using some objects in your home and complete these properties of the multiplication, children. 
and let us meet with a new concept in the next class have a great day children